Welcome back to Dirt 5 and welcome to the start of the Uproar DLC. In the last episode you saw us finish off the Energy DLC, so today we are starting the brand new one, the Uproar Content Pack DLC. Now, this has a few differences from previous. First one being, there are now multi-class races. And second, there is a new event type, but we'll get to that in a couple of episodes time. We start today with East, uh, the Speeding Edge at East Mitten Reverse, Arizona for a sprint event. Wolverine is starting us off. He is driving the Volkswagen Polo GTI R5 of the Modern Rally class. And as I say, this is a multi-event. So any there's a couple of classes of cars you can choose from. And Wolverine went with one he thought could win us this race. So off he goes. Five laps. This is going to be over very, very quickly. And you can already see the differences in some of the car types being used. But he is in this Volkswagen Polo. And off to a decent start. Eighth place currently. One corner down. Second corner now. Trying to get up the inside of some of these smaller cars. He can get his elbows out. His car is going to bounce a lot better than they will if he does go in contact with them. Up the inside in fourth place there. Lovely move. And he is now in fourth place. And the final corner before the end of lap two is catching up to the top three cars here. A little bit deep, but he's trying to get the car back on the straight. And he has done so really well. Start of the third lap. We're nearly halfway through the race already. Fourth place. He's slowly catching the car's head, but occasionally, because going too deep into the corners, losing out, out a little bit on time, letting him get away. It's a very muddy, slippery surface. He was saying that he was having a few issues with some of the corners, and the Volkswagen is not really gripping as much as he had hoped for. Very deep into there, trying to take as much speed into the corner, paying for it on the exit sometimes. But he's got a car challenging him for fourth, but I think he's got away from for the time being. As we're about to start the final lap, he's dropped down to fifth now. But he's going to overtake the car on the corner and he's back up to fourth. He could just about snatch third here if he pulls something out of the bag. Is he going to manage it? I'm not sure. Up the inside. It's going to be a race for the line. I don't think he's got the time to get it. No, he hasn't. We're going to start the uproar DLC with a fourth place finish. A fantastic result for Wolverine in the first ever multi-class event. And you can see the difference in the cars there. There was a lot of differences. I think he chose the right car. I don't think he made any major mistakes. I think maybe taking too much speed into some of the corners was an error. And then he had to go really deep. And that cost him some exit speed. But other than that, a pretty good effort and a very good start to the DLC itself. One stamp. That's all we need to continue on for the time being. A bit more reputation as well. And we should get some money back. Since I, need, I keep buying new cars, so we need some money, to be fair. <laughs> and he does unlock some stats. And that is it for the first race. Well, on to the next. It is the Cold Front uh, Olavla Inlet, Norway, for a Land Rush event. Soldier Boy's in the car for this one. He is driving Ford Mustang GT4 of the Rally GT class. Another multi-class event. We've gone for the GT class, or Rally GT class, I guess I should say. And the Ford Mustang, this is another new car, one we haven't used before. Wolverine decided to pick the Christmas wrapping paper livery. Actually suits the snow. And yeah, we've made the wrong choice. And the reason I know this is this car is not accelerating. Um, it is just getting bogged down in the snow straight off the line. This is going to be a struggle. It's only two laps. Once we get up to speed, this car is a monster in a straight line. It is powerful. But the problem is once you brake and let off the power and you try and reapply, it takes forever to get going again. And it's just too powerful. It doesn't grip the snow just has no traction and this is definitely a wrong choice of car right hander now and we're up to ninth that's something i'm happy with that at this point knowing this car is not going to keep us in this race for too long much longer unless there's some very big long straights in this and up the inside there up to eight up to seventh place barging away through up to six now i'm sure we're going to lose some positions in some of these corners just because of the speed that we have to use in the corners themselves and then our slow acceleration Sixth place up the inside, looking for fifth. We are just about going to make it ours, and we do indeed. Along the back straight here. Back straight, a little bit of a turn. Left-hander going very deep into the wall there. A wall of uh, snow. Over the jump. I was getting my eyes completely, completely confused there. Nearly going off track through the barrier. We're going to go up the inside for fourth place. We're going to lose it again on the exit, though. And we're going to cross the line at the end of the first lap start the final lap two laps very quick race and i'm happy with fifth i must admit i got the choice of car wrong as we make our way up into the podium position of third place 
I don't know how we've managed to pull this into third considering we couldn't accelerate off the start line. We have done. We're going to lose back out, go down to fourth. But this car has good speed, it just lacks grip. And it may be on a better track, this may work really well, but on snow, this car is definitely a no no. Going into the corner, we're taking third place back. We are slowly catching the cars ahead of us, but I think our best result would be a third if we can keep it ours. There is a car on our tail, if not one, maybe two. Up, up the inside here, trying to get in the second. We're braving it, we're trying to push as much as possible. This car has got to be pushed to its limits and we're up to second place. I don't know how we've done that, but we have. Second place and we're catching into first. This car, a car that would not get off the line and now we're in second place trying to get into first. It's, an, it's incredible to think this car has managed to pull itself back. Very deep into the corner, hit the snowbank once again as we're about to take the jump. We know we're near the end of the race now. Can we hold on to a second? It's all going to depend on this corner, I think. We can hold our speed as much as possible around the corner. We're going to hit the snow a little bit there. Two wheels all over the place. It's a drag race for the line. I think we're going to lose it out, mainly on grip. We are. We're going to drop to third, but that is a podium finish. Third place for Soldier Boy in a car that has no right to be on that track. Let's put it that way. The Ford Mustang GT4, fantastic car, but on snow, it's bad. Really, really bad. So I'll openly admit, hands up. My fault, picked the wrong car. Thought I had a decent chance. And to be fair, we did have a decent chance, but just couldn't make it work. And the car will never be used in the snow again. If I can remember, that's what we used previously. That's the issue. Confirmation of the result and stamps, including money needed after paying for this car. The final race for this episode is Rock Stairs at Daly's Gorge, Morocco for a Pathfinder event. Wolverine's driving the WS Auto Racing Mug Club, the Rock Bouncer class. And as it's a Pathfinder, there is no commentary. This is Wolverine versus the Rocks. Let's see how he gets on. I honestly thought when Wolverine flipped the car at the end, it was over. But Wolverine actually managed to beat the time required for free stamps by 10 seconds. That is an incredible result for Wolverine. Free stamps, our first free stamps of the Upboard DLC, and a fantastic result. He flipped the car and still managed to beat the best time by 10 seconds. We'll take it every day of the week. Wolverine is ecstatic. Now, that is the end of the first episode of the Upboard DLC. If you're enjoying this series or any content on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. A like on the episodes does help as well. 
and we're going to see you next time for more Dirt 5 Uproar DLC.